<laughs> I'm sitting at the airport, alone with my imagination, phone in one hand, and the English toffee from the candy shop in the other. You keep walking by in the flat escalator thing that deviously cute children like to play with by running opposite to their purpose. Now, this may be a large sugar rush, but you're not flying anywhere today. Nor are you visiting the black synthetic leather seats that stick to my skin like sea urchins. My mind is constantly getting pricked by the needle spines that, that your mind and this mind of thought could be self-destructive. I don't have much more time. My flight leaves on the circle, and imagining you walk by on the funny moving floor isn't the same as you gliding on in, because I don't know who these people are or where they're going, but, but I do know your name and that you're going to be there when I get home. My mind is playing tricks on me. It tells me that this airport is a poet's nightmare like on Elm Street, and I might get scared by the amount of nuanced vernacular that lines the crosswalks and rows. But I'm seeing that smile. It's on the faces of children running opposite direction, as if they don't know where this odd wannabe escalator is taking them, but, but they'll be happy as long as they're traveling together. The dervish of a blue hue sets the foundation for this terminal, my hopes and feet. A design that is familiar to me, I seem to get lost in the crosses and the mixed plaid shag. My feelings for you are too big for these overhead compartments, but the emergency door opens and I see you in a bin. All I want to do is find my aspirations, buckle up my security, and eat another bit of English toffee so that I don't forget your smile. A child runs down the aisle holding my dreams in their smile. It takes every cubic foot of me to not tell their parents, your child reminds me of how happy people can make each other. I'm flying home in a few days, and I'm hoping that my baggage falls out and knocks me unconscious, <laughs> just so I can convince my subconscious that I no longer want to fly alone. <laughs>